You know. You all know exactly who I am. Say my name. Say my name. It's it's Walter, correct? Two two. Struck him out. Five strikeouts. Logan Gilbert just. Foul tip back to the glove of Cal Raleigh. Gilbert's fired up. Oh, Logan Gilbert shows some emotion. Strikes out Renhifo. Swing and a miss. Gilbert fired up as he goes off the mound. Gilbert's one two. Swing and a miss. A 99. Off the field, he's Logan Gilbert. But on the mound, he's Walter. We'll get into why he's called Walter, but what is the origin story of Logan Gilbert? Logan Gilbert was born and raised in Central Florida, and as a big fan of Chipper Jones growing up, he would play third base until at some point in high school he would make a change. Like halfway through high school, I hit my growth spurt and always had a pretty good arm, so I gave it a shot on the mound and it actually worked out better than hitting, so I just ran with it. And although he wasn't heavily recruited out of high school, he would go on to play baseball at Stetson University. Haven't heard of Stetson? Yeah, neither had I. But some big baseball names actually played there, including former infielder turned starting pitcher Jacob deGrom, as well as, recognize that guy, Corey Kluber. In Gilbert's sophomore year in 2017, he pitched in 15 games, 12 of those being starts, and he went 10-0 with a 2.02 ERA and 107 strikeouts in 89 innings. <laughs> This would get him named the A-Sun Conference Pitcher of the Year. And in his junior year in 2018, he would repeat in winning that award, as well as Stetson taking home the conference championship. Heading into the 2018 MLB Draft, Gilbert was ranked as one of the top five college arms available. And at the time, his fastball was in the 89 to 92 range. It sounds as though his fastball had decreased in velocity a bit from the summer before, and his scouting reports listed him as mainly a fastball curveball pitcher. If you're enjoying this video, just a quick reminder to please subscribe to the channel. He was projected to go somewhere in the mid to late first round until the Mariners pick came up at number 14. The 14th selection of the 2018 MLB Draft, the Seattle Mariners select Logan Gilbert. <laughs> Logan would become the Mariners' number six overall prospect heading into 2019, and he would be the opening day starter for the West Virginia Power in A-ball. After recording a 1.59 ERA in his first five starts, he would be promoted to the Modesto Nuts in high A. He would be joined by other top Mariner prospects such as Julio Rodriguez, Jared Kelnick, and Cal Raleigh at this level. It was also at this point that there was something called a truth meeting that was introduced to the players where, essentially, the coaches would be open and honest on the players on what they needed to do to, to improve, and the players could do so with each other. And apparently one day, it got a little heated between Gilbert and Raleigh. We let each other know what we were thinking about a particular meeting. I think it was some scouting report or something that led into a whole other argument, not argument, but conversation. We, we just got to know each other pretty well and what the other person was thinking and um at the end of it you know we're even better for it um he you know got to know what i was thinking and um vice versa so uh yeah you do have to kind of put your ego aside and listen to what the other person has to say but at the end of the day it makes you better for it when you figure that out about the other person that they care about you enough that they'll tell you exactly what you need to hear then you know you're ready to go to battle with that guy that he's on your side he wants the best for you all that kind of stuff and um, you never have to wonder about that. Sounds like that meeting put them on the right track and is one of the reasons why they're such a great combo today. In 12 starts with Modesto, Gilbert would go 5-3 with a 1.73 ERA with 73 strikeouts and 62 in a third innings, after which he would be promoted to the AA Arkansas Travelers. He would finish out the year with Arkansas, and in his nine starts, he pitched to a 4-2 record with a 2.88 ERA. The 2020 minor league season was canceled due to COVID, but then headed into 2021, he was one of the next guys to get the call. He would make one start for the AAA Tacoma Rainiers before soon after he would get the call. Getting the call from Jerry that I was finally getting called up, it was a surreal feeling. I honestly wasn't expecting it at the time. It was just, we were just getting started in AAA. And then I get the call that I'm gonna come up here to Seattle and finally come into T-Mobile Park as a player, finally getting to your locker. I think one of the coolest things for me was actually seeing the jersey with my last name on the back and 
just staring at that and realizing that it finally happened and I'm here. So it was pretty wild. And a nice applause for Logan Gilbert. First round pick by the Mariners in the June draft of 2018 out of Stetson University. Gilbert's 0-2. Boy, check swing, he goes around, and the first strikeout in the big league career of Logan Gilbert is in the books. In his rookie year, he pitched 119 in the third innings with 128 strikeouts to 28 walks and a 4.68 ERA. 2-2. Two -two. Struck him out. Five strikeouts, Logan Gilbert. Here's Gilbert's percentile rankings for 2021. Standing in at 6'6", six six, he's got elite extension to home plate. And he really was a two-pitch pitcher, throwing that four-seam fastball 62% of the time, the slider 24% of the time, and the changeup and curveball just over 7% each. Gilbert's 2022 season had some ups and downs, but he ended up with 32 starts, made the jump to 185 and two-thirds innings, and finished with a 3.2 ERA with 174 strikeouts and 49 walks. Swing and a miss. Gilbert fired up as he goes off the mound. Gilbert's 2022 percentile rankings and pitch usage looked very similar to 2021, although he did throw the curveball and was more accurate with it this year, but he still couldn't find the command on that changeup. However, some good news from this offseason, it seems that Logan might have found an off-speed pitch to replace that changeup. Introducing Logan Gilbert's 2023 splitter. The horizontal movement and break is nearly identical to the circle change that he was throwing before, but with the splitter, since you're releasing the ball more like a fastball, instead of pronating your arm like a changeup, this might allow him to have better command with the same results that he was looking for. If you could take one pitch from anybody else in the big leagues, but you got to get rid of yours, okay? What what would that pitch be and who would you take it from? I just thought of uh, Montas' splitter, pretty unhittable, uh, and I don't have a splitter. I'll so. trade it for the changeup, how about that? Heading into 2023, his pitch arsenal is a four-seam fastball that averages 96 and touches 100. He's got that slider. He's bumped the average speed up to about 87. He's got that bender of a curveball that I think can be a great pitch for him. Apparently, he broke out a two-seam fastball at the end of 2022. And then he's got that changeup or the splitter, depending on if he scraps the changeup. All right, now where did his alter ego Walter come from? It started as a joke in college, honestly. And, uh, <laughs> I wasn't even thinking about it. Somebody just asked me, like, I don't know, a, a name or whatever it was, I was telling them, you know, as most pitchers do or players, you you kind of get more competitive, locked in, it's your yeah. start day, all, all that kind of stuff's just normal. But then it became like a person somehow. So then <laughs> without even thinking, I, I just said, Walter, I don't know where it came from, but... Say my name. Somehow it stuck and it, it went from, I think we were eating lunch in like a mall on a road trip mm -hmm. in college and now... Here we are in the big leagues, and now it somehow stayed with me. So, um, but it's it's doing all right. So I'm keeping it. Probably when we go into the meetings, it probably starts a little bit, and then once I actually get everything on and go out there, I think I naturally just kind of get locked in and kind of turn off who I am, and kind of turn on the the other side, the more competitive side. Now heading into 2023, Logan Gilbert's third year in the majors. Logan is bound to be one of the top young arms in the league and the Mariners are primed to have one of the best rotations in all of baseball, with some combination of Luis Castillo, George Kirby, Logan Gilbert, Robbie Ray, and either Marco Gonzalez, Chris Flexen, or likely Bryce Miller. Thank you for watching, and make sure to watch the rest of my player profile series, which I'll link at the end of this video. All right, guys, goodbye, Zondi. Don't forget it. <laughs>